All right, it's time to do a short and sweet review of the Akuma Battle Cat. Now, before I start the review of this rod, I want to show you a clip of a recent trip I took with my two battle cats. I went out on David's boat again. He's one of the subscribers on my channel. Last time we went out on a boat, we got skunked. This time we went catfishing and this is what I caught. It's dark and nothing on the catfish rods. So we decided to put out a little light and I caught this guy off of a hook setter plastic. Whoa! <laughs> Man, this is a big one too. Nice crappie. I'll show you guys the light in a moment. It is 10 yeah. inches. 10 inches. So 10 inches, maybe we'll get a bigger one once more crappies start coming in. Let him go. Oh, come on, go, go. There he goes. Oh yeah, he went straight to the wall. <laughs> and see, we got a lot of bait down here now. And it's just a, how old is that light? Uh, about 25. 25 year old light there, pulling in bait. It's been floating for a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been floating for a while. We've been waiting a while. Nothing on the catfish rods, but maybe we'll get some crappie. At least we're not skunked this time. After that crappie, we didn't catch anything else. He had a bass earlier, but it got off before he got it on the boat. But we did not get a single bite on my battle cats. But I did start talking about the battle cats. And here's a clip of what I said. I know I haven't done a review on these yet, but here is the main reason I love Akuma battle cats. You can see them at night. All we have is the boat light on this one. I'm hoping it's coming out on this camera. You can see the B&M rod over here and then the battle cat over here. And then the other battle cat right here. Highly, highly visible at nighttime. Now I've had the battle cat for a while. I've had eight foot battle cat and I've had these seven and a half foot battle cats. So I think I've had them long enough to give a really good review of these. And what I have to say is, I actually like these rods. The only drawback is that they are a glass rod. So they're just a little bit heavier and thicker than say, a Mojo Cat rod from St. Croix or a Whisker Seeker. Of course, the St. Croix rod is almost double the price of this rod and the Whisker Seeker, it comes close. But this rod has more features to it than the Whisker Seeker or the St. Croix. And what I mean by features is the uniqueness of this rod. Akuma worked a lot of magic to make this thing happen. They have a top of the line cork handle, EVA foam grip. So you can see it's already got some weirdness going on with it. I think it's a plastic reel seat, but it does have metal retainers on it and a metal locking screw. I've never heard of anybody having problems with a plastic reel seat. If you've had a reel seat break because it's plastic because of a giant catfish, leave a comment below. Akuma made this a two-piece rod. I can take it apart right at the handle, but it's really hard to do. Okay, I can't take it apart. Ugh. I don't want to play around that too much because my cat might grab the hook. But as you can see, I never take it apart. So it's together almost permanently. And this one's lined up really good and it just, it doesn't twist. I've never really had a problem of it twisting. Whenever you put it in there, it suctions it in there. It's, it's in there strong. I mean, I can't get this one out. That's kind of funny. I can't get this one out. Stainless steel eyes. And this rod right here is a used rod. I traded for this a while back. And the cork uh, seems to be drying out a little bit. There's what a new handle looks like. And there's what a really used handle looks like. It's held up pretty well. I probably need to put some mineral oil on it. If you have any suggestions of what type of oil to put on this, just leave a comment below what type of oil I should put on this. And as you can see, the new rod epoxy is still kind of white. It's starting to discolor. And the older one has discolored some. But it's a white rod blank, so it's really not going to hurt it. You can still see it really well at nighttime. This is considered heavy power. And from the videos I've seen of other people, it can pull up big fish. But it's got this really cool tip that's just, I don't know. They work some kind of magic to make this happen that is really bendy. Which is great for circle hooks. 
And in fact, I've got a Gamagatsu circle hook on this one because I intended to use it on a boat. I don't remember which rod it was, but I caught a 20 pound catfish when I was fishing with Catfish Dave. And it was really, really fun catching that fish. I didn't get everything on film. I was just sitting there, the camera was off, and all I heard was the bait runner on this Akuma Classic Pro just going nuts. So I just took off running to grab the rod. I had it 20 yards down the bank. But I finally got the camera on and was fighting it. And this is a clip of that fight. So completely missed that run. I put the battle cat way over there and cast it out. And now we got a decent fish. At least I think it's a decent fish. It's maybe the biggest fish I've caught on a battle cat yet. And it's a respectable fish. 23 pounds. That is a respectable fish. It's a nice one. Uh oh, death roll. Come on, I wanna keep my grips. He doesn't wanna let go of the grips. He had uh, Catfish Dave's finger pretty good too. There he goes. As you can see, it handled that 20 pound catfish just fine. I think it was actually more fun of a fight to fight with this rod than the 12 foot longitude rod that I caught a 30 pounder on, on that same video. And that 30 pounder felt like nothing. The 20 pounder was an actual fight and the rod bend and everything just made it a lot more fun. So I think these rods can handle much, much bigger fish and I've seen them handle much, much bigger fish. And as I just said, I've got the Akuma Classic Pro 200 size on here, that reel. And it's the same reel on both of these. These are seven and a half foot battle caps. And this is 30 pound slime line that I would put on both of them as a test. One roll of 300 yards fit on both of these. I still don't know what I think about it. Whenever this line is not tight, it becomes a slinky. This one I have a team catfish hook on. I might have to take this one flathead fishing. Team catfish hooks hook flatheads pretty easily. And I have the new rig wrap sinker slides on both of them. So if I wanted a free line, I just, take it off without cutting a line and free line some bait for catfish. So I think this is a brand reel seat. Yeah, it's a Pacific Bay reel seat, uh, GCL 22. So they put a Pacific Bay reel seat on these. It's never gotten loose on me. And I think it's because of the double lock. And I think you can use this bottom with like a belt, put it in a belt to fight a fish with. So with this type of uh, butt, that shows it's capable of monster fish. And they put a little bit of orange on the very tip, but I've found that at nighttime, you see the white more than you see the orange. So I don't know why they've got an orange tip on there. Maybe for daytime use. This is a top quality rod. It's well worth the price tag they have on these. And the price tag is usually pretty high. I'm also going to wind down my Tackle Tuesdays because I'm pretty much out of Tackle. These Akuma Classic Pros, I i don't think I've used them long enough to give a proper review on them. I know like the Akuma Classics, the ones that use bushings, these have bearings, the Classics, the other Classic has bushings, last forever when you use them. I know Ty, the FVCatfish.com guide that I fish with a lot, he used to use Akuma Classics and he used them for five years. He never had a single reel fail. He's lost a few in the river because of clients on accident and it's such a cheap reel you just replace it it's not like you know having a Komodo SS for $400 you have a client lose that in the water that's a pretty big hit and the 400 size Komodo SS looks really good on this rod 
Now, in the future, I'm not sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to try to buy more Battle Cats or if I'm going to get some B&M poles. The B&M poles are cheaper. The B&M Silver Cat Magnum is actually a cheaper catfish rod, and it can handle trophy catfish too. It just doesn't have all the features that this has. It's more of a stiffer rod with just as much backbone as these. So it's just something I'm going to have to decide on what I'm going to do if I ever need to buy like six fishing rods. But I'm definitely not going to give these up because I like them too much. So if I find some way to buy six more of these, I'm going to do it. So that's the quick review of the Akuma Battle Cat. So as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. I think I'm going to go fishing now.